We hear in places in Bhagavad Gita, Raso hamapsukonteya, prabhasmi shashi shuryayo, pranavasarva vedeshu shabdake purusham nashu. As an example, Krishna is saying, Raso hamapsukonteya, I'm the taste of water. Prabhasmi shashi shuryayo, the light of the sun and moon. Actually, whatever you can see is Krishna. There's a way through proper thought, you want to call it meditation, you can call it that, where you can trace everything back to the central conception of the Absolute. It's only in local context and the confines and constriction of time and space that it's assumed any other identity or appears to be not related to Krishna. As Madhva Charja said, with regard to words, like horses, the local context is like putting reins on a horse. You can make it go this way or that way. He said, but if you release the horse from the reins, it will run according to its own uh, necessity. He said, so all the words we use They have the reins. They've been reined in by local context. If you release them and they run according to their own necessity, they'll run the Krishna conception.